Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a humongous H&M haul. I do have a couple pieces that are not from H&M that are new that I want to share because I don't think they're going to make it in another video, but I definitely think they're worth mentioning. So um, that includes actually everything that I have on, but 99% of today's video will be from H&M. All the links will be down below along with my sizing for reference. And let's just jump right in. This top that I have on is from Amazon. It's like a really nice buttery, stretchy material. It has some really cool seam detailing going on and this lettuce trim, which I really, really like. It's around the wrist as well. And then it also comes along the bottom. It's like, um, not crop, but it is like a shorter length. So it's really perfect to tuck into anything high-waisted. Does have that trim at the bottom if you wanted to leave it out, super cute. Absolutely love this top though. It's a really good basic. It's kind of an elevated basic and it's got those little details that just make it a little bit more unique and like I said elevated but really comfy, easy to layer up with and I got it in brown as well which I will show you. But I paired this look with my new favorite little crossbody bag. This bag is everything. I got this from Walmart, you guys. I literally cannot even believe this is from Walmart. I love the little chain detail though. You can take it off. These are two separate bags. Again, you can take this off. Just use this. You could use this as a clutch, but I like to hook it together. This is how it was shown in the photo online, kind of hooked together like this. And I think it's so great. I put like my sunglasses in here so they're by themselves. They don't get scratched up. And then in here I have like my little mini wallet and my lip gloss, things like that. I just absolutely love this bag and could not recommend it more. I do feel like I maybe need to shorten it up a little bit, but the strap is adjustable, so that's no problem. And then on bottom, I have these cute cargo jeans. I'm obsessed with these. So these are from Target. They're by Universal Thread, and I have the jeans in this style, and they're like my favorite. So when I saw they came out with a cargo style in the same exact fit, I knew that I had to try them. I absolutely love the color of these. It is like a washed denim, but it's like a stretchy, really, really comfortable denim. I love all the seam detailing, the cargo pockets, and then the back is super flattering. Pocket placement is on point. They're not too snug. They're not too loose, baggy. I feel like if you want to try out the cargo trend, but you don't want to go like full baggy cargo, these are a really good transition. They're just a lot more wearable, a lot easier to wear. And again, I love the color. I love that they're not denim. Then on bottom, I have these cute little sneakers that I actually found at Marshall's. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find these online. I was looking a little bit this morning and could not find them, but I'm going to dig a little bit more because they're so stinking cute. They have like a blush pink, some gold, some Sherpa, a lot of different kind of mixed media on these sneakers, and I just love the way that they look. I'm also playing around with the setting on my camera. I don't think this one's going to work, so I'm going to maybe change the setting in the next <laughs> slide, but... Let's try on some H&M goodies. All right, quickly, here is the brown top. Same exact size and style. These are really, really comfortable. Like, I'm super happy with them, and I think they're really cute. I actually like the way that this looks not tucked. Just, again, a little more detail at the bottom. Same seam detail going on. I also really love the neckline. I feel like it's very feminine and pretty, and it's, like, not too low, but definitely has, like, a lower scoop. Good basic to have. All right, moving on to H&M, I wanted to share this sports bra. I got this in this mauve color, and then I also got it in black. Originally, I didn't think I was going to love this as much as I did, especially to buy two of them. I really love this bra. It's like a really nice, soft material. I love the color of it. The fit of it is great. I got mine in a size up from what I normally would get, and it fits me perfectly. I'm kind of, for sports bras, I'm kind of in between sizes, so I went with my size up if that makes sense but like I said I got it in black as well it has this cute little double strap detail and then the back is like super strappy and cute I absolutely love just like how simple it is how it feels how it fits it's a good sports bra I am a little bit worried that these straps are going to stretch out and I won't love it as much but as of now it fits perfectly and I wouldn't wear this necessarily to like go for a run but for weightlifting yoga pilates anything like that this bra is really really great and I'll show you the black one Actually, let me grab it on the hanger. I'll just show it to you on the hanger. It's really no, I have a lot of stuff to try on. <laughs> There's really no need to put it on, but here is the black one. Like super cute just to lounge around in as well. Like I felt like this would be something I would wear with like black leggings and a little button up over it with sneakers for like an athleisure look. So got two of those. And speaking of comfy lounge bras, I picked up these long line bras. And this is like a tank bra so there's not actually like padding or any cups or anything going on in here it's like just a really stretchy kind of supportive 
fabric in like a crop tank. So I love wearing stuff like this around the house or underneath of like my sweatshirts and things like that so that I don't actually have to wear a bra, but I feel at least somewhat supported and like secure underneath. I really liked the color of this one. It's more of like a brown versus like the mauve color of the other one. Love the rib detailing. And I again got my bigger size in this and it fits me perfectly. And I also got this one in black as well. <laughs> It's gonna be a trend. Anytime I try to try on something black, it doesn't show up well on camera anyway. So hopefully, this is still like a good representation of it. But yeah, these are just really, really comfy. And another active piece that I got are these long sleeve active tops. I got this in this beautiful like plummy brown color and then I also got it in the black. I loved the rib detailing and just the way that it stops here at the bust line. I loved this seam here and just I thought these were really, really nice and looked a lot more expensive than they were. And they feel really nice as well. This is definitely something I would wear as like a little pump cover to the gym. As it gets a little bit colder, I got it in my usual size and it fits perfectly. Trying to show you the detail per usual. We are fighting the lighting because it's raining out for the millionth day in a row this summer. But I can't complain about rain because I know a lot of places in the world would kill for some rain. Here it is in the black. Really comfy, stretchy. And I just really liked the design. Okay, because I had nothing else to try on with these lounge pants, I just threw on that little uh, like bra cami in the black. So you do get to see it on. Same exact thing, and you can't really see the detail anyway. But I bought these lounge pants, and these are so comfortable. You guys, are these the most flattering thing I've ever put on? Probably not, but I don't even care. Like, they're so comfortable. It's like this amazing ribbed material. I love the heathered gray. The heathered gray in the loungy fabrics just never gets old to me. I feel like the length is perfect for actually like running around the house and doing all the house things. I feel like I have some lounge pants that are like cute, flare, whatever, but I'm like tripping over them constantly. So these are perfection. I kind of wish I had gotten them in the mauve color, which was the other color that they had. I don't know if they might have more online. I'm hoping they do because I think I'm going to order another pair and I got these in my regular size and they are perfect. My mom also has these and she said they're like one of her favorite lounge pants. So yeah, love. All right. I threw my hair out because it's like so greasy. It's just like driving, <laughs> driving me nuts. Next I have this beautiful striped bodysuit. Stripes have always been in. They're a classic, but they're definitely trending and I just find myself gravitating towards anything with stripes on it right now. So I loved this rib material. It's really like thin and lightweight, which I think is perfect for layering. I was worried that this was gonna be like completely see-through just based on the way that it felt, but I was like, I'll make it work with like a seamless bra or something. I actually got my regular bra on underneath and I would wear it like this. Like you can see it like a little bit right there. But other than that, honestly, it's not bad at all. And I got it in my regular size. I think it fits really well. It's a thong back. It snaps down at the bottom. So I absolutely love it. I'm really, really happy with it. And then paired with it, I have these straight leg jeans and I absolutely love these. They're like a beautiful wide leg denim. I love the shape of them. I think they're like a good classic blue denim and the length is really good as well. Like I have some like three or four inch heels on and I think these are perfect. They just kind of hit right above the floor. Super comfy and they're really flattering in the back as well. I got these in a size four, which is not my normal size, but is kind of my normal size at H&M. The sizing is a lot different for me at H&M, so I feel like maybe just read the size chart. Um, these are like comfortably loose in my waist. Like I love the way that these fit. I just think they're really, really comfy. Definitely something I would wear on like an everyday basis. And I have a jacket that I wanna show you guys, so I'm gonna throw it over this because I think it's gonna complete the look and you guys are going to flip over this jacket. It's going viral, it's from Zara, it's not from H&M, but it's so good, it's so good. Let me go put it on. I'm speechless, speechless. I wanted to pair it up with a bag just so you guys could see like the full, a full look, but let me give this jacket all the attention it needs. So, like I said, this is from Zara, it comes small, medium, large, so I got it in a small. It's like oversized, boxy, kind of utility style jacket. It's got a raw hem at the bottom, so it has like these hanging strings that just give it this like edge and unfinished look, which I just die for. I love that so much. I love the oversized sleeve. I do have mine slightly rolled because they're like very, very oversized. It's kind of hiding some, yeah. Come on. It's so good. It's just so good. 
I saw this a couple times on Instagram and then I was like, yeah, I need it. I need that jacket. It's so freaking cute and it's unique and it's something that I just feel like is perfect for the fall weather. And especially if you live in like a warmer climate and you don't actually get like super cold weather, I feel like this would be a really nice addition to your wardrobe because it does give you those vibes, but it's really lightweight and it's got like a silky lining. So it's not going to be overly hot. Like I will definitely have to layer up with this in the fall, but it's perfect to layer up with. Anything will fit well under this because like I said, it is oversized. The belt goes all the way around the back. I just, I can't get enough of this jacket. It's a vibe. I don't have anything like it and I absolutely love it. I'm so sad about this top because I think it's beautiful. I love the color. Sorry, I need to turn my phone off. Um, I love the color. I love the design. It's like a really, it's got a, like a really cool texture on it. The sleeves, the fit, everything is like perfect. But the material, okay. The material though is like not soft. It's like a dry kind of thin scratchy material. So if you're sensitive to that, I would say skip this one. The seam on the inside of the arm is a little bit scratchy as well, but I'm very sensitive and do not like things that are not like plush, cozy, soft, all the things. And this is not all of those things. So if you love this top and you're not sensitive to fabrics, go for it. But if you are sensitive to fabric, sadly skip this one. All right, same thing with this sweater, you guys. It's so beautiful. I love the color. The super chunky knit, everything about it, but it's a little not as soft as I would like. Um, I would definitely have to wear a long sleeve under this for me, like to feel super comfy like I like. I would have to wear a long sleeve under this. Again, if you're not picky about that, I'm like super picky. I just want to stress and like emphasize on that. Um, it may not bother you. Reading the reviews online, people were like raving about this sweater and I don't remember reading anything about it being scratchy. They do have this in quite a few colors. I thought I turned my phone on silent. What is happening? Yeah, I mean, otherwise, I really, really like it. I love the design. It's kind of more of like shorter length, so it's easy to front tuck, or you could even bra tuck it if you wanted to. I will not be keeping this. It's just not as cozy as I like. I like it over cozy. I wanna be like thinking about how comfy cozy it is all day long. I'm so sorry about my phone. All right, this next sweater I absolutely love. I actually left it on with the straight jeans. I love the oversized, oversized look right now and just kind of that like old money vibe, which I feel like this sweater totally is, but you could wear this with leggings. You could wear it with jeans. Um, lots of different ways you can kind of style this sweater, but this one's a lot softer than the other two tops that I just had on the sweater and then that little like green top, but this still has just like a tiny, it's like 2% scratchy. But I could wear this one, like I could wear this and I would be fine. I also feel like if I at least just had like a tank top on or something underneath, I would be totally fine. Like the longer I wear it, the more okay with it I am. I just love the way that it looks. I love this vibe. Again, the stripes are so in. It's super oversized, but like flattering. The way that it hangs and everything, I love the slits on the side. I feel like it takes me um, a couple weeks to get in like sweater mode and then my skin is not irritated by sweaters anymore. So yeah, I think it's just gonna take me a little bit to get in the fall mode, but love this. This sweater vest is an absolute yes for me. I love the color of it. It's like a really soft, cozy material. And then look at the detail on the sides, you guys. I love that super high slit. I probably would wear this under, I mean over like a long sleeve shirt or over um, a collared button up or something like that. I feel like that would be really cute with like a little leather jacket over the top. It does have the slits on both sides. I really love this. I feel like this is a really great layering piece. It's something that you could wear by itself. Like if you wanted to wear this, under a leather jacket, I think this would be beautiful. Actually, I have one, let me go put it on. But just some close-ups really quick before I put that jacket on. I just, I love this. Really, really cute, love the way it fits, feels, looks, everything. All right, here's the leather jacket. I think this looks so cute together. I personally would swap out the jeans because this is just like really boxy. I would wear some leggings on bottom, but I really, really love this leather jacket. I did size up in it because I wanted it a little bit more oversized, something that I could like throw on over a hoodie or something as well. And I love it over this little sweater vest. But again, I feel like this sweater vest is something that you could style up a lot of different ways. And I just think this is like a cute 
pairing. And also this jacket is just like a good basic leather jacket. It's not like cropped, it's not too oversized, it's not too boxy. The fabric is nice, like it's a good faux leather. I like the finish, I like the feel of it. The fit is good, the details are nice and like minimal but there and noticeable. And yeah, I just think it looks a lot more expensive than it was. It was under $70 and I just think it's a really good deal. So love these two pieces and really good staples for the fall and winter. All right, just for the sake of this video and me trying on a million things, I kept this vest on and I just front tucked it into my jeans and then I threw on this little like herringbone, I think is what it's called, maybe not. It's like a tiny, I think it's a herringbone print, little like flannel button up and I got this in my regular size. I don't know why it's so wrinkly at the bottom, um, but I almost wanna size up one in it because I feel like I'm just not feeling it like I thought I was going to be, but I think it's because it's not oversized like I wanted, like not oversized like I was hoping. So I think if I size up, I'll really like it. It is super soft, comfy, and I like that it's not your traditional plaid that you see in the fall. I like that this has a different print. It's a little bit more like of a sophisticated print, if that makes sense, something that's a little bit easier to like dress up. And I really like the idea of this outfit. It's just not like fully coming full circle. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I feel like I just want to size up in this and then I'll like it a lot more. I also feel like it'd be really cute over band t-shirts and things like that. So I think this is a keeper for me. I just need a bigger size. All right, I was super, super excited to get this sweatshirt in. I will say I'm like a little bit disappointed because it looked a little bit more like acid wash online and in person. I don't know, it's just like not quite as noticeable. Probably some are more like acid wash than the others, but anyway, I was just hoping that the detail would show a little bit more, which it does, it shows up, just not as much as I remember it looking in the photo. So I apologize, because this one's gonna be hard to see on camera, but it is a really nice sweatshirt. It's like a little bit cropped, it's super lightweight, super soft on the inside, like a nice, uh, fleecy material, but it's, like I said, it's thinner and lightweight, which I like because it'll be easy to front tuck into some jeans or you can just wear it out like this. I think this would look really cute under that leather jacket and I'm definitely keeping it because it's comfy, cozy, something I would actually wear. And it has a lot of added details. Like it has this nice like crew neck detail here at the top that extends like past, up past where the hood is. Does that make sense? It's just kind of cool. I like um, all the seam details on it and the wash of it. So yeah, definitely a keeper for me, but hopefully as I wash it, it maybe gets that like more worn look, you know? Cause I want like the seams to show a little bit more, but it's really, really comfy and I got it at my true size. Trigger warning, I am wearing a puff vest. I know it is not totally time for this, you guys, but I had to have this vest, I'm obsessed with it. And I can just see myself wearing it all the time, like throwing it on for the gym, throwing it on to run the kids to school. I love it because it's not going to be too hot, like throwing on a full puffer jacket, but it will give me the warmth that I need to run in and out of the car depending on where I'm going. So I did get this in my true size. It's very oversized. If you want it less oversized, I would say you could size down, but I really liked the oversized look of it. This is exactly how I pictured wearing it with all black and some sneakers. I thought this was really cute, but again, I can picture myself throwing this over a lot of different things just for the like functionality of it. And this was under a hundred dollars. I think it was like 60, $70. And I just feel like that's a really good deal. If you were to get something like this from Abercrombie, it would be over $200. Thought it was a good practical purchase and I love the city vibes of it. I look like somebody running around Boston and I love that. I love that for me because I miss Boston so much. I loved living there and anything that can just give me like a little piece of Boston, I'm here for. So highly, highly recommend this vest. I really like it. It's got pockets. It's got the big zipper in the front. It has the drawstrings and a hood as well. So you can really bundle up if you want to, or you can just wear it open like this. <laughs> I just threw this dress on over my leggings and my sneakers, everything, just because I could already tell it was going to be so see-through. Like you can't even see how see-through it is. This dress is gorgeous. I love it so much, but it's so see-through. Like, I don't think that I can make this work, even with like a full thing underneath. Like, I was gonna go get my Spanx. I have like the Spanx, I don't know, like this full thing, but I feel, you're gonna, I feel like you're gonna see it. And this isn't itchy like the top was. This is like the same 
kind of like fabric, but this isn't as scratchy and it doesn't have the itchy arm seam. So I could actually wear this and I feel like this would be so cute with like a little denim jacket. I don't know. Do I go get the, the little, what's that thing called? Okay, so I have my little undergarment on and it's, it's just so sheer, you guys. When I open my legs, you can't see in the viewfinder, but you can literally see if there's any light behind me, you can see, see right through the entire skirt. So unfortunately, I will be returning this. I wish this was like a thicker, nicer fabric because the dress and design is like so beautiful. I love it, but it's just, wow, sheer. All right, last but certainly not least, I have this sweatshirt. These are my favorite. I have it in black, and I think I might honestly get another color, but I love this brown color. This is by their like movement line or move. I think it's called move, move. It's like their athletic line, and I just, I love this sweatshirt so much. I love the way that it fits. It's like a terry material on the inside. So it's really nice, lightweight, just kind of feels good every single time you put it on. Like I said, I have like the black charcoal colored one. I do have that one in my normal size and then this one I sized up. I like them both the same. Like I don't necessarily prefer one fit over the other, but oh my gosh, I just, if you're looking for a good throw on sweatshirt that's thin, lightweight, this one is definitely my recommendation. I love this. I'm going to be wearing this the rest of the day. Also wanted to show you guys what it looked like with like a little crossbody bag because I just feel like this is the perfect pairing. It's easy, comfy, perfect for every day just running around. So this is from Amazon. I got it in this color and then the tan, which I'll show you in a second. But they're really cute, functional. They have... Um, this one has the zipper in the front and then it has the larger zipper here. So again, I love that separation, whether you want to put your phone in there, smaller items, your sunglasses, whatever. Here is the tan one. So this one again has the zipper in the front and then this one has two larger zippers on top. So this one actually has three zippers. It also comes in black if you prefer the three zip. And the one I'm wearing is just the two zipper, but I absolutely love this color. I actually like it paired up with black as well, but yeah, I thought I would mention those because they're good staples to have. That is absolutely it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see next. And also comment and let me know what your favorite pieces were from today's video. I love you guys all so much. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.